Fractal wording could result in serious injury or death. Do not try this at home. This video is strictly for educational purposes. See what I got in my hand today is about a 56 inch pole and I'm going to make a walking stick out of it. Now this one's going to be a little different than most of mine. It's going to be uh, embellished on the top of course because that's what I do. Don't know what kind of wood it is. It's a light colored wood and it's going to go well with some, we're going to do some Lichten, Lichtenberg burning on it today. And I'm going to see if I can't just go right down around the stick with the lightning bolts and the design on it. So stay with me. I'm going to show you all the way through how I do it and uh, hope you enjoy it. We'll see what it looks like. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is show you my setup here. You see in the back of this bench, this is my carving station. It's also my burning station in this little box right here. But my probes are put away right there. And what I what I do, and I cut me a hole right here for my sticks to go through. And I just stick the bottom of the stick through here because I'm gonna start on the top. And then I clamp this top in place. Now I can easily, as I go along, I'm gonna burn that one. I can burn all along here a while and then turn it over and do some more, but that, the object has to be steady for this to work. It's fairly dry. So what we want to do is have a paintbrush here. And I have, this is just a water mix solution with uh, about a teaspoon of uh, baking soda. Let me show you that. Baking powder. Baking soda, baking powder, what are you going to call it, that I've got. And uh, I mix a teaspoon of that in with a pint of this water. And we shake it up, keep it shook up. You don't have to shake it up once a day. But anyway, what I'll do, I'll brush that on when we get ready. Matter of fact, we're going to brush some of it on now while I'm talking. And uh, just to show you, we don't saturate it. But you got to have the... The, the water for the conductive measure of the uh, of the voltage that goes through it. Now my burner is 15,000 volts. So I'm standing on a rubber pad and uh, also I wear lineman's gloves I got a pair of professional lineman's gloves that's OSHA approved and uh, I blow them up with some air pressure that's how they check their gloves to make sure you don't have any pinholes in them and I do that periodically uh, I put them in a bag and put them up every time I use them but anyway long sleeve rubber gloves you got a probe in each hand i got a foot pedal at the bottom that i use that when i press that foot pedal the voltage starts and before i pick the probes up you'll notice that i i'm talking i'll say pedal off pedal or pedal up or something like that and i'll take the pedal off and then i remove the probes and I say that out loud as a safety precaution. I think it's a good habit to get in because you don't want to lose, uh, bring those probes up without, with, with the power on them because it's 15,000 volts and that bolt will, will try to go to ground. Now if we put the probes down that don't start right away, then I'll need a little more moisture on the wood. But it's uh, very dry. I've sanded it and uh, let it set up even after I sand it. So all the bark's gone, but it's got quite a nice design on it. And if we get this burn in like this, it'll be a black, a black pattern all the way down. And uh, then I'll put a clear 
a clear coat over the top of it. It should look pretty nice. So let's get started today and just see, see what happens here. Put the gloves on, get the probes in hand, and I'm going to place the first one down here about four inches apart to start with. Probes down, pedal down, and it starts right away. And we're looking pretty good, real good. You'll let it go until the lines, they'll try to, they'll try to get toward each other. I don't think I'll let them quite touch. Power off, power off, power off. Probes up. Put them back in the holder. One thing I forgot to do, it makes a lot of smoke. I have a downdraft table right here. You see holes. That'll suck the smoke down. So I'm going to turn that on. We'll be right back and take a look at this. Here we are back. This time I'm gonna turn the turn my suction on here. See if that should bring that smoke down out of my eyes. I've already put a little moisture on here, so we're gonna try it that way. And get the get the gloves on. Okay, gloves in hand. Hold down. Put that on. Pedal off. I'll turn my suction off and we're going to change the camera angle to where we can hopefully see a little better. Okay, I've changed the camera angle because I realized we couldn't see the probes and what was going on. Probe point down, four to six inches apart, and power on. Thought we had too much moisture there for a bit, but it's going to take off. We should be able to get a view of it, a good view this time. And uh, coming along pretty nice. Now, what I'll do, I can get about a third of the way around on each, uh, on each burn, I think. And just hold it down. And it's going to eventually go around and burn a path until it, it's trying to find the ground. And it means the points are trying to go towards one another. And it will burn around or wherever it has to until it does that. Downdraft table is working pretty nice and no smoke in my eyes. Alright, power off. Uh, we can go over here at the side now. Turn the power on here. Ropes down. Power on. Uh, it's it's more power off. We'll relocate here and we'll get right here. Power on. Power on. Power off. 
connected pretty fast that time, so we'll have to rotate the stick and get uh, a little bit on the other side. Now, what that looks pretty charred right now, but but we we clean that off before we're done with it. I'm gonna go lock that down right there. So I'm gonna put a little more liquid on that. And there's where the end of the other one is right there. So I'm gonna go around with it like that. Put my gloves on. And we have the probes up. No power on the probe yet. And I'll touch down right about here. And I'll go down toward no more than six inches apart. And we will watch it go again. Power on. And what that means, when it don't start right away, it's probably too wet. But that is gonna go and let it go to get to the other to the path or it's past the ground. And it we don't control what it looks like. We just let it burn and the the glowing red that you see, uh, that is actually burning deeper into the wood when it does that. The little uh, ones out, th the little trails outside that's not turning red is not the center of the electricity, but it, it's trying to branch out, and we'll see it a lot better after we get it, the uh, all the scorch or the black charcoal off of it, it will just leave the intricate pattern that it does. Uh, I'll let it go as long as it wants to. It's going around under the bottom, that one is. Both of them are really. It's around the side, you can't see it. But it's, now it's headed, it's on the side over there. And uh, I don't believe you can see it at this time. But it's hidden. It's hidden, uh, it's trying to connect. Now if they connect, you, it don't hurt anything, there's no flash, it just keeps on. But if, if they connect, it will stop burning. So some people like to let them go until they connect. That's part of the design and that's fine. But on this stick, I, uh, I'm gonna minimize their connection. I'll shut them off before they connect. It, uh, now it's decided to come around and connect on the other side. It's finding itself. Now it's quickly stopped the power, no power. I had to stop till it was getting ready to connect. And uh, that's just the way I, I like to do it. Now let's take a look. See what we got so far. I've got 12 inches down so far. Going to turn the blower off so we can hear a little better. And as you can see, all the way around, but the black uh, that will come off. I don't want to touch it now because it'll it'll put the black into the wood. Uh, just scrape it around. But what I do is have I have a wood bleach solution that I'll put on it, and uh, wooden bleach is what it is. And I'll pour that on with a toothbrush or a soft brush, and that'll wash that out of those, uh, out of the design, and we'll have it. Now I believe I'm gonna leave, see right there, we're going right down to here, and I got a little opening there, but I'm gonna skip about a few inches there because there's going to be 
it wouldn't be me without some carving, so I've got to have something to carve. So I'm going to leave a little bit right there. So this time, I'll bring that stick out to right about there. And I'll clamp it with my little clamp right there. And that's not going to move on me. Put the gloves on. Now I'll go, I'll put the probe down here and here, and it'll be going toward each other and leave me a little opening in the middle where we can do some carving a little later. All the better do. Let's, let's just paint that a little bit. Now the reason it goes around, that electric tries to go around there, is that that wood, that mixture also was around. Now if we didn't, if we wanted to prevent that, we wouldn't let it go. We would put it on and just in a streak and it would follow the, uh, the liquid pretty well. But uh, I don't I don't care if it goes to the other side. I want to grab that anyway. So what we're going to do now is just I just slightly I don't put them directly in a row, but I got, I can get a full six inches. I'm finding different wood does different things. Probes are down. Power on. Now we have to give it a moment, and it wants to start, and it'll start the other one here as soon as it, there it goes, now we're putting a nice pattern on there, no two patterns are alike, and that's the pattern itself is created by 15,000 volts, and uh, I'll tell you what, if, you, if you're not experienced with this, it's dangerous. I wouldn't try it at home without some professional guidance uh, to get set up right. Now I'm going to turn the power off, and uh, we got a nice design that time. Put the probes in the holders, and like I say, I, I talk. Power on, power off such as that, to make sure that those probes don't pick up before the, with the power on. That's the main thing about this. Now, I'll turn it over, and we're going to clamp it a little. See, it's dry over on this side, so I want to give it a little more, give it a little liquid there. Give it some, give it something, give it a path to go to. Now I'm going to get the gloves back on. Start the start the blower. Probes in hand. Probe down. Power on. When I say power on, that means we don't pick up the probe. I started on that end this time, and it will it will come on down. It don't have to really spark up on the other end, but it'll mess around and finally get there. Getting there pretty fast this time. And like I say, the, the, uh, the ground almost touches, and I, this, the burn almost touches uh, before I turn the power off because I want, we're getting some good deep burns on this. It ought to look really nice. Uh, this lighter, softer wood. It's, I don't know what it is, but it's a sturdy stick. It's going to make a really fine walking stick. That should be enough. Power off.
probes in the holder. Now we'll rotate it slightly. I want that's blank right in there, so I want a little bit more right there. So it looks wet there. Probably enough. We'll leave it alone. Probes down. A little bit kind of on that side, but a little opening in up here. So probes down, power on. Power off. Notice I turned the power off just before it touched right there. Okay. I think we'll still carry this down. I have about a about a foot, about 12 inches up here. They root for some carving. And I have at least six inches there. And uh, Go further down right there. So I'm going to probe it from, from here to around here in that area. And, uh, and then we'll move down a little bit. I'll put the probes down there. And the probe... Uh, now let's put it over here and right there. It'll find itself. Now we're in there pretty good. We don't have to put a dent in the wood if we don't want to. Power's on, and there she goes. It's, this wood is really doing nice because uh, it's not staying wet once I put the stuff on it. Stop the power. I'm about to touch down right there. So let's go here and over to the side. May not be able to see that really well, but we'll have to try there. Power on! Wow, she really took off that time. And I just let it connect. And see, it's, it's, it's burning a little deeper, but that's about all it'll do. I got sparks in the valley there, but that's about all it'll do for right now. All right, power off. Now let's take a look. Always look and see what I've got. Again, in general, it's all the way around. And I'm going, this one is, is six or eight inches. This is 10, 12 inches. And we're going to skip some wood here. And I'm going to go down to maybe right in there. I'll leave some room for some more design on the stick. And it's dry again. That means it wants some water. So we will just go ahead and get that done. Now that we got the, got the wood wet, it's time to go straight in and get the probes. And I got them. And I'll put it up on this edge. And like I say, I don't, I, I try to not to make them in a straight line that'll work. But what I want them to do is go, go around. So let's uh, put a little twist on it. So probe there and, and there, I think that'll work. Power on. Yep, there she goes. Waiting on the other one. When it gets close enough, it'll, it'll fall up. There she comes. You're going to snake her way all the way across there. Sometimes it gets itself figured out and goes rather quick, and sometimes it don't. Sometimes it cuts quite a nice pattern before it decides to connect. And uh, we'll just let her do what she wants to do. Let's turn the power off right there. I move our probes. I'm going to touch a probe over here and, and over here. 
and hope that shows up on the camera, so power on. Yeah, it's going way under the bottom both directions. It's getting a good burn here. Very good. Very nice pattern. So we should maybe only have to, if we get a good round burn, if it goes around like that, sometimes you only have to turn the stick once. Other times you might have to turn the stick three or four times to get all the way around and get the pattern you want. And I want this to be a pattern all the way around, not just on one side. Uh, I'm seeing them come together. I'm ready to turn the power off about now. Power off. Now it's time to turn because I can't see where we're at. So let's take the gloves off for a moment. And, uh, the clamp. See, it went from there all the way around almost. We got, we'll leave it right there now and we'll get the bottom. We'll only turn it one time this time. There, that worked pretty good. We got it wedged down there so it doesn't roll. Now I'll go ahead and put, put some more moisture where we want it. And the probe will hit the trail there. Now let's get her gloves on again. The safety part of it is really talking to yourself. Probe's in hand. It just lets you verbally know what, what's happening. Probe's in hand. Probe. Probe. Contact, power on. We we'll make everything stable before you turn the power on. Now if it don't kick off, it's because it's too wet. But it's been doing pretty good. And don't put, don't use just plain water on for this. If you, uh, when you're, when you, if you get into this, like I said, make sure you have professional advice, help, whatever, someone that's done it before with experience to help you get set up. Otherwise, it could be very dangerous. It is dangerous. People kill themselves with this because this is electric trying to go to ground. And it will go to ground. If there, there, there can be no metal around. You need to have rubber sole boots. You need to have or shoes. and. Uh, you need to be standing on a rubber pad. Anything to keep the ground from getting to your body. Don't skimp on the, don't use garden rubber gloves. Use lineman's gloves. There won't be a, a pinhole leak in a lineman glove. A lineman will tell you that it can kill you. He don't want to work with a pair of lineman gloves on that has not been inspected. Most likely, I forget now, I used to be an industry, but I think possibly uh, once a month. And the way they test them is actually put compressed air, blow them up like a balloon. Don't try to bust them. Power off. Don't try to bust them, but blow them up and uh, see if they leak. Good way to leak test them. And they are leak tested periodically. When they are leak tested and they leak, most companies make you uh, cut the fingers out of them, rip them up so they can't be used, and then throw them away. And they're not cheap. But, you don't want to go cheap when you're doing something like this because going cheap can kill you. Power off. All right, let's see. See what we got. I don't know if that's good enough or not. We've got a pattern 
pretty much all the way around. We can't turn it without seeing the stick glow. So I think we're just about there. Uh, three burns on that. Should do it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we'll call it a little something there, there, and there, three places. You gotta burn in three places. Should be, should be all right. So let's uh, call that done with the burns, and uh, we'll go to the next step of this.